Yeah, nice to see everybody here in the theater. And um, thank you for coming and for your interest about Ireland. So I'm Janine Viray, and I'm fr um, from Education in Ireland. And I'm here to discuss with you, just to give you a broad um, idea about Ireland and what to expect if you would choose to study in Ireland. So with that, I would like to start with a video. Um, makes you, you. Some say it's how you learn. And for you, that education starts right here in Ireland. Sure, you want somewhere that offers you a world-class education. And yes, you want to study in a place where you get personal attention, where the lecturers know you, know your name. And of course, at the end of all this, you want somewhere with a buoyant job market, somewhere with excellent career opportunities, the envy of countries all over the world. But you want more than that. You want somewhere you can learn things that are not just found in books, somewhere you can learn to live a little, to immerse yourself in a rich and vibrant culture, somewhere you can learn to lose yourself, and somewhere you can learn to find yourself somewhere you can breathe have fun grow live and find friendships that last forever somewhere that will be the making of you ireland the making of you okay so i hope you enjoyed the video and um uh, just to like um let you know, so Education in Ireland is actually a government agency that um, we are the national brand that promotes Irish higher education institutions. And we are also authorized by the Department of Education and Skills. And um, today with us actually we have Brian McCurran, who is the um, mission head, ah, deputy head of missions of the Irish Embassy. So he's here in the audience with us. So yeah, just say hi. <laughs> okay. So yeah, just to like give you a brief background about um, Ireland. So Ireland is a country with 5.2 million people of population. The currency used is euros. And um, it has been um, a member of the European Union since 1973. And it's actually the only English speaking country that is a member of the Eurozone. So with Ireland, you don't have to learn a different language. English is the primary language used in Ireland for education and also um, for communication. All right. So in terms of the seasons so ireland has the four seasons we have the winter spring summer and autumn so um you would see there that rain is a constant possibility because even in summer sometimes it's raining it gets gloomy but you would always like um hear from the people like weather is something that is the great topic to talk about so whenever like you're in ireland and um you want to know a person tell them about the weather so yeah so it's also a good thing also that um, um the intakes in ireland are usually they usually start in september so um this is autumn so it's the end of summer and beginning of autumn so it's quite um, not too hot and not too cold. So for us Asians who um, is not familiar with the or is not um, uh, adjusted to the cold, this is a good time to go to Ireland. All right, so I'm sure like when you go to a different country and you're choosing a country um, to pursue your studies and um, you want to like um, to leave your home country, one of the factors is that is that country safe? 
So in the 2023 Global Peace Index report, they have ranked Ireland as the third most safe country in the world. And this is actually um, being produced by the Institute of Economics and Peace. So they put together data um, of each country, making sure, um, measuring the country's safety and security, societal so secu security, and also if there is any ongoing domestic or international conflicts. So you would be sure that um, with um, all the data they have shown, um, th the uh, Global Peace Index has vouched for Ireland as a safe country. And in terms of good living conditions, so the United Nations um, Human Development Index ranking, so in their 2022 report, they have ranked Ireland as number eight for having good living conditions. So the United Nations also, they gather all the information and they measure a country's um, average for um, human development, which are for long and healthy life, if they have good education systems and also the standard of living. Okay, so in terms of culture, so Ireland is a very, it's, our Irish people are very similar to the Asian people. They're very family oriented. So in terms of like um, going to, to Ireland when, whenever like you're meeting strangers or meeting new people, they're very friendly. So even with my experience going to Ireland, whenever like I uh, go to Ireland and ask for directions to people, to strangers um, in the streets, they would really go out of their way and um, point you to the right directions. It's like um, they'll make sure, they want to make sure that you're going to the right place whenever you ask for directions. And this is a good thing about Irish people. They're also rich with culture and history. So if you're interested in history and um, you would want to know more about Ireland, there's a lot of places that you can explore and also castles that are, um, that uh, has been dated since the 1200s or um, that you would be um, able to see in, in Ireland. And also like one of the most um, celebrated um, Irish um, festivities is the um, St. Patrick's Day, which is uh, celebrated for the whole of March. And um, this is a good thing about Ireland because it's celebrated all over the world. And um, when, whenever like um, people, if you're not Irish, even if you're not Irish, and then if you're a friend or a stranger, or if you're a family, you're welcome to celebrate it with them. The, so this shows that how Irish people are, that they would re, they're would they very willing to share their um, customs and their, their festivities, and they share it not only to themselves, but to everybody all over the world. Okay, so I just want to show you some of the beautiful landscapes. So this is the Cliffs of Mohair. Um, this is the Samuel Beckett Bridge in Dublin. This is the spear or spire in um, Dublin as well. And another picture of the Moher, um, Cliffs of Mohair in, um, also in Ireland. So this just shows, cause like um, the Lonely Planet um, uh, website or travel, the Lonely Planet Travel Advisory has ranked Ireland as um, one of the top five best countries to visit for multiple, uh, multiple years because Ireland has lovely landscapes to offer and also they have very accommodating people as well. So this is important when you're traveling, like when you, you see, you're, when you're in a nice place, oh, you, you, you get captivated by their um, landscapes, but you also enjoy your trip when you, the people there are very friendly, right? So Irish people are very friendly and accommodating. So in terms of um, flight time to Ireland, so the distance from Ireland to the Philippines is 11,269 kilometers, and it would take around 12 hours to 16 hours, because there's no direct flight to um, Ireland as of yet. Um, the usual stopovers are in Doha, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, um, Amsterdam or Frankfurt. So it depends on which airline that you will be choosing. So this also depends 
um, this would vary also for the um, airfare. So, so yeah, so it would be different when when choosing the airlines. But the good thing about Ireland is that it's it's the center of Europe. So whenever like during your um, term breaks and you would want to explore other European countries, it's so easy for you to travel from Ireland to the different European countries. Usually it's just two hours away from Ireland. Okay. So in terms of um, internationally recognized qualifications, Ireland is actually um, being reviewed. So the um, the Irish higher education institutions are being reviewed on an ongoing basis by the Quality and Qualifications Ireland or QQI. So this is an Irish state government agency that um, qualifies and, um, and checks um, Irish institutions to make sure that all students and also the professors are experiencing high quality learning experience. And they make sure that this is a, um, compatible to the European Network of Information Centers or National Academic Recognitional Information Centers. And uh, this is um, recognized throughout uh, the USA, Canada, um, throughout Europe, and also in Australia and in New Zealand. So if you would choose to study in Ireland and then you would want to go to a different country to pursue your career, it's okay because your, your diploma would be recognized as well. Okay, so in terms of cutting edge research, so most of the universities and uh, colleges tie up with industry players. So um, they do like um, collaborations that um, uh, do research uh, on um, different um, sciences. And this gives a lot of opportunities for students. So even for governments and um, industry, they tie up with different um, universities and they provide different programs. So those who are interested in sciences, this um, Ireland is a good place to go. So just to give you an idea, so. Um, Ireland is second in immunology, third in agricultural sciences, third in nanotechnology, and then fifth in material sciences, and the list is, um, goes on. So yeah, if you are interested in sciences, in doing research, Ireland is a good place to go to. And then in terms of um, work, because Ireland has been chosen by a, a lot of multiple or multinational companies to have their European base in Ireland because Ireland is an English speaking country and they produce good um, uh, quality graduate students. So their workers are in good quality. So they've, there's a lot of like multinational companies who has been in the country for more than 20 years because of the um, uh, the relationship they have with Ireland and also with the good um, number of graduates that they get, the quality students that they get. So um, in terms of um, internship or work after graduation, you'll have a lot of opportunities. So nine out of the 10 um, US technology companies has an office in Ireland. Nine out of the 10 um, pharmaceutical companies also have presences in Ireland all of the global software companies has a presence in Ireland as well. So um, even the medical technology companies, automation companies, and the fintech services companies all have um, presences in Ireland. So in terms like, so I'll just show you a few of the logos of the companies who has offices in Ireland. So in, uh, if you would want to have an internship with these companies, the school would also help you with the recommendation letter. So um, if you would want to do an internship, or you just apply to as many as you can and then the school would also like um, help you with the recommendation letter and sec help you secure uh, an internship that would be fit for your um, course. So probably by now you're asking, okay, how much does it cost to study and live in Ireland? So for international students, 
Um, the tuition fee would range from 9,850 uh, 9, euros to 25,500 euros per year. This depends on the course that you choose and also the institute that you would choose. Of course, if you're studying in the city center, it could be more expensive. If you would want to like choose an institute that is outside um, of Dublin or at the outside skirts of um, Ireland, it would be cheaper and the cost of living could be cheaper as well. So for the cost of living, it's around 12,000 to 15,000 euros per year. This would include your accommodation, your transport and food. So um, also here, if you would see the Edu bond, so the Edu bond is a 7,000 euros bond that students can put in place. And um, when they get to Ireland, this bond would be open to them by the bank so that they can use um, for their um, living expenses. So if you want to know more about this, you can go to education Ireland, uh, educationbondireland.com for the step-by-step requirements and what to do for this um, edu bond. Okay, earn while you learn. So for international students, you're actually entitled to work for 20 hours per week during your term time and then 40 hours per week during your holidays. So an international student doesn't need to apply for a work permit um, while you're studying. You can, um, but what you need to do is you need to apply for a PPS number and this is equivalent to your social security number or your national identity number. So usually um, after registration with the college, you would apply for this PPS and then this would make you eligible to work while you're studying. And the minimum pay is approximately 10.50 or 10.50 euros per. It's gone up to 11.30. So it's 11.30, corrected by um, Brian here. So it's 11.30 euros per hour. So yeah, so this would be able to like, if you would want to like um, help for your daily expenses, you can work while you're studying or if you just want to gain more experience while you're studying as well. So this, um, just to give you an idea. And another thing about Ireland is that they have a generous stay back option. So if you graduate from an undergraduate course, you're entitled to stay for 12 months after your graduation. And then if you take a postgraduate or a master's course you, um, or a PhD, you would be able to stay for up to 24 months after your graduation. So this gives you um, more time to like look for a job or if you would want to explore more Ireland after your graduation because if you're studying and you're so focused on studies and you weren't able to explore the country yet, after your graduation you can explore the country or you could like gain more experience. So when you go back to your own to the Philippines or if you want to go to another country, you have your diploma from Ireland and you have two years additional work experience with you. So yeah, if you would want to know more, um, you can visit our website at educationinireland.com. So if you are not sure yet of like what course you want, you can go to our website and then in the search bar, you can search, put in the keyword that you're interested in and it would show you the different courses that are available and then which institution offers that course. And then if you have a specific um, course and school that you're already interested in, you can um, go directly to the international office. Um, and then um, for any visa and travel advisory, you can go to ines.gov.ie or dfa.ie or gov.ie. So I invite you to please um, follow us on our social media platforms. We have a Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram account. So we always post the latest um, things that are going on. So if there are any smaller things that are available, um, you can check it on our um, uh, social media platforms. So yeah, so thank you for listening. Um, if you have any questions, please feel to raise your uh, feet feel free to raise your hands and I can answer your questions. Or if not, you can like go to our um, booth at booth number nine downstairs. So any questions? It was clear.
<laughs> a lot of information. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you so much.